Hey guys, it's FlexDW here and I'm coming with another Splitgate video and this video is going to be covering over just the, the game in, as a whole, what, what game modes there are and the main thing is the settings we're going to cover uh, to get those god settings so you can have those pop-off games and get that amazing KD. As you can see, I'm on a 2.82 KD after 9 games so the game's going good for me at the moment. Just trying to get to level 15 so I can get into ranked and grind ranked but loving this game. Yeah, you know, I used to play Unreal Tournament Quake when I was younger, Halo, and this has really got a good feel to it. Um, it's my first day playing today. I've played, as you can see, nine games. There's a video of one of those games up on my YouTube channel. You can go and check out the shotties and sniper game mode. I get about 28 kills, five deaths popped off. Um, so yeah, loving this game. Thought I'd do a quick video just with the settings and just talking over the menus and stuff and what you know, what type of things you can change in this game. So this get to those important things and get into this video so i'm on borderless windowed but that's just because i'm recording a video you want to be in full screen just to get a bit more fps you want to make sure your resolution is the same as your monitor i'm on a 2k monitor so i'm at 2k most people might be at 1080p some people might be at 4k but just make sure you match your resolution of your monitor and keep your resolution scale 100 otherwise it will upscale or downscale this resolution fov is by default 90 you want to whack that up to 103 for sure max you can go just to get that bit more viewing filled so you can see everything that's going on always want to have fov max you can go really on most games so yeah we're at this at 103 and you'll be able to see a lot more what's going on straight away i've capped my frame rate at 166 um don't know why it's got 0.12 i did tell 166 i've got a 144 hertz monitor i always go a little bit over um i always go about 20 frames over uh just to i think it helps with screen tearing and stuff like that especially because you don't want V-Sync on. So match your screen, get, find out your monitor's refresh rate, go a little bit over, go about 20 frames over. But yeah, I've just locked those 166 because I don't. there's no point in me getting 200 frames. My PC probably would achieve it. This game runs really well. It's optimized. So, But just get those locked in just a bit above. Now, quality. I'm usually a guy that goes to quality and drops all of the settings, shadows off, turn everything off, turn everything down. This game runs beautiful, though. Don't need to. And there's no shadow off option. Anyway, I've left everything on highest settings. Now I'm getting the frames of this. If you do need to drop some of these settings and you're not quite getting the frames, make sure you keep your view distance at Epic. And if you're at 1080p, I'd keep anti-analyzing at Epic as well and then drop everything else. You're probably going to get a bigger impact on textures and shadows, putting those down. But this game, there's no visibility in like sort of improvements from turning any settings down not like cards or something like that where you can turn the shadows off um so just make sure you're getting your frames and just have them as high as possible um it's not really a graphical type of game it's more of a fast-paced shooter but i'm getting all the frames i need colorblind settings just left at default at the moment but may do another video in the future playing around with them trying to just get that optimal uh colors just so we can see people as far away but i'm having no issues the game's quite bright as it is um playing on keyboard and mouse i'm a Low sensitivity player. I play 400 DPI on my mouse and I'm at 2.0 and 2.0 on horizontal and vertical sensitivity. It's very slow, but this is a aim sort of intense game and you want to make sure you're hitting those shots. So these are the god settings. Play on low sensitivity, try 2.0, 2.0, 400 DPI and zoom sensitivity at 0.7. Now, zoom sensitivity is weird. Even when this is set to one, it doesn't match. So, like if I'm aiming down sight and this is set to one, it still is going slower than when I'm aiming from hip. It's not 1.0, so very strange that it does that. Most games, if you set this to 1.0, a 180 aim down sight or 180 from the hip should feel the same, but this game doesn't. I've set that a little bit lower. Just hit those sniper shots and just those micro adjustments. It's really helping me and um, have the best settings possible. So yeah, uh, I don't have anything on toggle either. No toggle crouch, no toggle sprint. I want to just press the button when I let go, it instantly stops doing what what i'm trying to do so same as toggle zoom but i don't want any of that on the key binds i've changed now this is the god key, key bind i changed on this game portals q and e these are default right they're really good keys i'd leave them on q and e i changed the close to put the portals to mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down so if you go through your portal you shoot your portal q e you go through your portal you scroll up scroll down on your mouse wheel they're, they're closed i think it's z and x as default but this for me works amazing I think this is the the god the god settings that everyone's going to be using if i'm honest so i also have primary at number two and secondary at number three i'm crazy but 
I played a lot of Fortnite and my pickaxe was on button one, so I just don't associate number one with a weapon. I associate it with like a knife or a pickaxe or something like that. So um, that's just my weird setting. I also have melee on my mouse button and grenade on my mouse button as well. Um, crouch is C and left control, but everything else is pretty much default. So these are the god settings. These are the settings that are getting me KD of 2.82 at the moment. Let's see how rank goes in a couple of days. Let's see. Just quickly show you over the menu. So there is a battle pass. It's free at the moment because it's on beta. There is an item shop. There is a training section. And the game modes we've got at the moment are casual, ranked tank down, and 4v4. I'm just playing casual until I can get into the ranked. There's a lot of game modes, team deathmatch, domination, loads and loads of game modes as you can see. So it's a brilliant game, guys. Honestly, go check it out. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. I'm going to have loads of split gate content coming for you. And um, hit the bell so you get notified. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out, guys.